How are you, Erika? Amazing. I, incredible. I would pinch myself. Well, <laughs> how did you feel after playing this semifinal? Oh my gosh. My body was full of fireworks. Um, um, I was so proud of my team. We, we played like a team. There was such incredible synergy on the field. Um, every player on the team has different traits. And, um, and all those came out and came to fruition today. And it was exciting. It was really exciting to see that. What does it mean to play in a World Cup for women's sport? Oh, for me, to play in the first women's World Cup, um, it's so special. You know, for us, I think that um, this is like the Olympics of polo. You know, we don't have the Olympics anymore. And um, I think the FIP and the AAP have done a really good job of making it even for all the countries with the horses and picking the horses and just the whole thing. And so um, it means a lot to be here for the first time. It's incredible. How do you prepare for a competition at this level in a different country? Um, it's tough. Um, it's tough to prepare. I think that's been um, uh, one thing that I would definitely take back for the next team that comes in is um, to have an organization um, and um, we've been so fortunate Chris Zimmerman has been incredible helping and Fuji have both been incredible um, you know giving us horses to just stick and ball and move and just so that we're not you know stationary um, but as a team, you know, really lining out the horses, lining out the plays. Um, so it's tough, but we've had some really good support. Perfect. How does the selection process happen to showing the team? Um, so the selection process was really, um, it started with the, with the foundation of um, riders. You know, I always say the polo player is like a modern day cowboy. And especially here, not knowing the horses, You have to have a player that's going to be able to ride the horse to its highest and best purpose, but then be able to do their job at the same time. And so um, all the girls that are playing, including myself, have been in the intercollegiate, interscholastic program where you get used to that, where you have like the split strings and you have to get on a horse and just go do something. Um, um, and so it started there. And then... Um, This specific team, I've had the opportunity to watch all the players play a little bit. And so um, I guess really like kind of hand selecting um, with the support of the USPA and Cecilia Cochran, um, having an opportunity to select the correct players for the correct positions. Well, about you, when did you start playing polo? Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I started playing, I was eight years old. And um, my father, um, you know, it's an American dream. He, both him and mom, um, they never came from money or anything like that. Everything, it, it was his dream to open up a polo club, and he did. Um, and so little by little and piece by piece and sort of grew the club and, and the hunter jumper and everything. And um, I remember so distinctly, we had one of our first polo pros. His name was Justo Del Carrillo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And Gusto would tell me all the time, like, run, run, run. And we would hit the ball and hit the ball and hit the ball. <laughs> and now coming to Palermo and seeing his daughter's name on the Argentine team, I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Um, and so it's, you know, just all come full circle. Maybe it's just because I'm old now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> well, Erika, what else do you do outside of polo? Tell us. Oh, gosh. Outside of polo, um, you know, we have... So we run a family business. And um, we do polo, hunter jumpers, western, you know, um, ladies that just give cookies and kisses. We do everything. Um, and then I have a family. I have, um, of course, my husband, Ian, is amazing. And then my little girl, Sydney. Um, So it's it's just juggling all those all those balls, but I would say I mean really my poison is polo, um, and and so it's fun to to have the family 
as a part of that as well. Yeah. Well, where have you traveled and where was your favorite place? Oh my gosh. Um, I've been really fortunate to be able to travel to a lot of different countries. Um, and people ask me that all the time, you know, they say, what's your favorite place? And it's a lot like, like picking your favorite song, you know, like at different moments, you know, you're like, ah, I'm, it's hard. Um, and I think every country has its, its special spot, you know, everywhere when I've traveled. Um, but to come to Argentina and play in the mecca of polo, it's every polo player's dream. So maybe Argentina. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think is the biggest driving factor of the growth of women's polo? Oh, um, for me, I think the biggest push and, and for women's polo has really been from the support from the top down. Um, from all the organizations, you know, the associations, but the organizations as well. La Dolfina, El Erstina, you have um, a lot of those old time, polo, and they're not even old time, they're still successful polo pros really helping and, and pushing and being supportive. Um, to have Milo coaching the women's team is incredible. And I think that that's, it really starts from the top down. And so I think other countries and other people will see that. And it's our duty and our um, our job to now continue that. Of course, yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure yeah. and congratulations. Thank you so much. You I'm excited. Much. USA <laughs> versus Argentina. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Yes. So nice Got to talk to you. Yeah.